in the mathematical methods, you're given student notes which you go through in class with the teacher, and then you work in groups with your peers, and you solve problems together on the whiteboards or on a sheet of paper together. Um, it's just a really cooperative class. The assessments in mathematical methods aren't uneasy. They're pretty jam-packed with a lot of information. Like the first sack in year 12 is on the first 10 chapters, so there's no real time to be mucking about in class because there's a lot of content that you have to go over. Um, the majority of the questions are extended response. There are short answer, but for the majority they are extended response questions. Before I started math methods, I would have liked to have known that the questions were extended response for the majority um, of the SACs and exams, um, which would have tailored my study routine and the way I prepare for my SACs and exams, which would have made, helped me perform a lot better. The best way to apply yourself and study for mathematical methods is to understand the content, not just do it, but to actually understand the rules, the equations and the formulas and apply them to questions, multiple different types of questions, especially the application ones, and practice them over and over and over because practice will, practicing methods will help you out as eventually in a SAC or exam you will come across questions that are very similar. The skill I've learned in mathematical methods is just you know teamwork in general, like teachers emphasize yeah, you work in groups and it's helpful, but it really is true, you do work as a team. Um, you talk to people that you wouldn't have otherwise have spoken to. Um, you build the networking skills, which is really helpful with in the future, going to work and all that networking and working with teams is just really helpful. Mathematical methods isn't necessarily, it doesn't, happen, it doesn't have anything unique as such, but it's just good to know the types of questions that you have faced and that it's not an easy subject. So if you're willing to work hard, and have a passion, well not necessarily passion, but just enjoy maths in general and solving problems, it's a subject to do.